In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and successfully run Pokemon Go for your Amazon Fire tablet. In this tutorial, I'm using the $50 Amazon Fire tablet, but it should work for all Fire tablets running OS 5 or higher. So I'm following the instructions found at PokemonGoKindleFire.com and you're going to be able to find all the download files here as well. So let's get started. So we're going to need to install the Google Play Store. So first we're going to swipe down and go to settings. Then we're going to scroll down to security. And turn on apps from unknown sources. Hit OK. Now return to the home screen, open your browser, and go to PokemonGoKindleFire.com and scroll down and we're going to download the Google Account Manager.apk file, so hit the link and download the latest version, save the file. Once it's done downloading, we're going to swipe screen and go to the downloads folder and open the file scroll down and hit install to install the Google account manager now we're gonna hit done and we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Go Kindle Fire site and scroll down and install Google Play services Once the file is done downloading, open it and scroll down and hit install. This file will take a little longer to install since it's a bigger file. Once it's done installing, we're going to hit done. We're going to go back to Pokemon Go, KindleFire.com. And we're going to install the next file, Google Services Framework. Open the file, scroll down, and hit install. Okay, we're going to go back to PokemonGoKindleFire.com and install the last file, the Google Play Store.apk. And we're going to download the latest file. So we're going to hit the top link. We're going to open the downloads folder. Now open the file, scroll down and hit install. Alright, now that we have all four files installed, we're going to need to restart our device. So hold down the power button, turn it off, and we're just going to turn it back on. Now we're going to open the Google Play Store. And now you're going to log in with your Google account. Once you're logged in, we're going to install Google Maps. So hit the search bar, type in Maps. And download Google Maps. Hit install, accept. Now we're going to search for Pokemon Go. And install Pokemon Go. We're 
almost done. There's one step after this before we can play. All right, now we're gonna to return to the home screen. And you can see Maps and Pokemon Go is installed. So we're just gonna swipe down, go to Settings, go to Wireless, go to Location-Based Services, and turn that on. Hit Agree. And you wanna make sure Pokemon Go is turned on, and also Maps is turned on. And now, you should be able to run Pokemon Go and play it successfully. Let's give it a try. You can log in with Google or Pokemon Trainer Club. I'm gonna log in with Google. Just so you know, is going to log me in to the Google account that I use to log in Google Play with. And you can see the GPS loaded. You could turn on the camera. Well, I'm going to do that later. And that's it. Now you can play Pokemon Go. I should also mention that you'll always need to be connected to a Wi-Fi connection in order to play. So I would recommend you tether off someone's phone or go to public areas with free Wi-Fi. Otherwise, you'll need to use incenses to attract Pokemon towards you. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.